You are welcome to another video of ISIS routing protocol concept and configuration. In this section, we will learn how to advertise default routes through the ISIS routing protocol. There are two methods that router can learn default route. The first is through the level one, level two routers with setting ATT option bit. And the second method, which is our main discussion, is to use the command default information originate in any router to advertise the default route through the ISIS routing protocol. In ISIS protocol, default route can be generated in two ways. First, level one, level two routers introduce themselves as the area exit points by setting ATT bit option in the level one LSP sent to all other level one routers. Level one routers create a default route to the nearest level one, level two router. Second, by using the default information originate, it is possible to advertise a default route at both level one and level two. To send the default route from a level two router, the router itself does not need to have the default route in the routing table, but level one router will send the default route with this command if it has the default route already in the routing table. In this topology, we have three routers, router L2 in area one, and router L1 and L1, L2 in area two, as it is written here in the topology. As the name of the routers shows, level one router or L1 router is a level one router, and L2 rotor is a level 2 rotor. Rotor L1, L2 is a rotor in area 1 connected to the level 2 rotor with an interface configured in level 2 and connected to the level 1 rotor with an interface configured in level 1. The configuration is also displayed in the topology and there is no new concept to explain about except default information originate command that we will talk about in a few minutes. In this topology, level one, level two router introduce itself as a default exit point from the area by setting ATT bit in the level one LSP sent to the level one router. With the command show ISIS database in the output of this command, on level one rotor, you can confirm that ATT bit is set. Let's check it. The level one show ISIS database. As we can see, ATT bit from level one, level two rotor is set. Also in the output of routing table in level one rotor, we can confirm the existence of the default route with command show IP route ISIS. As you can see, the default route point to the 10121, which is the IP address of level one, level two router. By executing default information originate command on level two router, the default route will be advertised throughout the network and then by viewing the routing table on level one level two router the default route must be seen but before that if i check the routing table of level two level one so ip route is is um, there is a default route here pointing to 10.1.1.2, which is uh, pointed to the level two router because default information originate command is already configured here. Section router ISIS, as you can see, default information originate. If I delete the command, no, default information originate and then check again the routing table as you can see there is no more any default route in the routing table of level one level two router
again the default route is in the routing 